Injustice. Governor Erufai describes the outcry that leads to his withdrawal from the NBA conference. And finally, the Nigerian Senate begins review of the constitution. This is Plus Politics, and I am Osao Gie Ogbawa. Welcome back to PLOS Politics. In preparation for the upcoming annual general meeting of the Nigerian Bar Association, the leadership of the association have withdrawn the invitation extended to the Kaduna State Governor, Nasser El Rufai. The NBA withdrew the invitation following protest from some lawyers. In response to this development, Governor El Rufai said the withdrawal is an unfortunate embrace of injustice. Is there any iota of truth in this? Joining us to discuss this is Raymond Nkanebe, a legal practitioner of Zoom, and of course, uh, Ishak Akintola, the director, Murik by phone. Thank you so much for joining us. You must welcome you very much, Osagi. Um, I'm going to start with uh, Raymond. Um, the NBA decided to withdraw the invitation to the Kaduna State Governor after, of course, the public and social media outcry. What is the significance of this move from the NBA? Well, thank you very much for, for giving me the opportunity. Um, getting straight into it. It's significant, it's not significant, it's not perfect. And that is to say, it has, um, it has helped to um, put the impression out there that the Nigerian Bar Association, as a foremost, um, as a foremost member of the civil society uh, community, and deploy a platform to um, perhaps um, 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 instill responsibility in, in, in our leaders and also in, in governance uh, 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 generally. So by taking the step, I, the, 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 the impression out there is that the Nigerian Bar Association will not allow its platform to be used as a, as a, as a conduit for some persons whose uh, position on our national unity may not be in the best interest of a country to um to sell such selfish agenda okay i'm, I'm going to throw the same question to the director of muric uh, ishak akintola i want to get your thoughts on this um how significant is this move at a time like this in 2020 what is impl implication for you implications of uh, the, the 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 withdrawal of this invitation the to withdrawal the of um, yeah. uh, governor Elufai. The implications are dire. They are very serious. They are very sick because I see imbalance. I see lopsidedness. I see subjectivity. If I Rupai is being dropped from the from MBA's uh, conference because of uh, because of uh, you know uh, um, his views on the Kaduna crisis. Then why is Wike not be not being interrogated? Why should Wike be there? A Wike in River State, it was just the death of Wike that River State became rivers of blood. We know what happened. We know how many political opponents have slaughtered into his blood. And he is still the governor there. He has uh, manifested executive impunity from day one. Was it not Wike, who is part of a subsisting court order? He demolished the terms, destroying the businesses, the hopes, the fortune of interested taxpayers. Somebody who does not respect democracy, a professional election rigging. Okay. So why should MBA or love with such a man? And and uh, we, they are dropping a refinery without doing anything about it. What of our 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 our, uh, 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 our former head of state, Chief Felicia Gobasanjo? He ordered the massacre 
at Oji, over the massacre at Blacky Bear, when he was really in the state. Okay, I, so, so are you, are I don't you... I don't know what is wrong with uh, the memory of Nigerians. And if Nigerians are forgotten, it okay. should not be a group like N NBA, right. a learned group, a group of literacy that will forget such tyranny. All right. I, what I want to clarify now, uh, now that you've brought um, your own views on, on the table, we're also going to go back to um, Mr. Nkanebe in a bit, you know, to share more about the reasons for the public outcry. But before we get there, um, 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 uh, Mr. Ishaka Kintola, I want you to speak now. Do you then agree with the public outcry against the Kaduna State Governor? Um, but your challenge is simply the fact that he's not the only one who's guilty of these things? No, I don't agree with the public outcry. With public. Um, uh, only one, only one, uh, uh, only a one student interview conducted or survey conducted. We know how it is done. How many Northerners were interviewed about the uh, fight? How many, or how many people who have balanced minds were interviewed. And because, uh, we, uh, you know, it, uh, a, a large section of our media listens only to Southern Kaduna people and their propaganda. So these are people who do not wish to live with their neighbor. Instead of all of us bringing Southern Kaduna and Northern Kaduna together, we are, we keep NBA in Declaring for the Northern Kaduna. MBA should listen to both sides, not just to Southern Kaduna. MBA is using Southern Kaduna narrative to judge Elufai. That is most unfair. Right. MBA is pronouncing Elufai guilty before trial. You, you use the word propaganda. Are lawyer. Uh, you use the word propaganda. Are you saying that what um, the Southern Kaduna people are? you know crying about is propaganda it is propaganda all right let, 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 has other other, other uh, document documentary videos pictures video clips of the killing of hundreds of muslims in cold blood and yes our media is not carrying it all right hold on sir particularly the western navy Hold on, sir. Sorry to interject. I, I want to go back to Mr. Nkanebe. I, I want to get your thoughts on the um, reasons for the um, outcry, I think I can call it that, and of course, a social media uh, campaign. Do you feel that they are justified? Do you agree with um, Mr. Akintola? Well, um, I disagree with uh, Mr. Ishak with all due respect. And I think it's, it, it seems to be putting, taking things out of context. And I wouldn't want, to, I wouldn't want us to dwell in the usual... Um, uh, in the usual manner of Nigerians, where everything is being turned, where a religious and ethnic sentiment is being thrown into otherwise, what would have been otherwise national conversation. So I wouldn't want to go, uh, go um, join the truth him on whether Southern, whether Muslims have been killed in Southern Kaduna or not. I, I, for as far as I'm concerned, as far as the NBA is concerned, the decision that they reached yesterday was based on the public outcry of Nigerians particularly lawyers who feel the person of Erufai, which is antecedent, should not be sitting in a platform of an organization whose motto is the promotion of the rule of law on account of his very doc well-documented and notorious human rights antecedents. Now, I think I should put it in context that the neck of the Nigerian Bar Association is, a very, is, one, of the, is one of the most reputable amalgam of persons comprising every former president of the NBA, every former general secretary of the NBA, at least three members from mm -hmm. each of the 125 members of the NBA, and also 120 members who are called courted. So this is a body that has at least 100 members drawn from persons who are distinguished in their respective careers, for both Christians, Muslims, and people from every part of this country. So if they put the decision of whether Mr. Erufai should be a, a member of that panel, and only three members, only three, 
only three members voted that he should be on the panel, then there must be something wrong with such a candidate. So this is not a question of um, us trying to have a Christian, Muslim uh, dichotomy. No, it's not. And I think for the purpose of austerity, it's better that we put it in its right context. The reason why El Fai was dropped was based on his human rights, notorious human rights. Now, people have been saying that there is Mwike on the panel, by former president Uli Sheikh Nobasanjo on the panel. Good and fine. Good and fine. They are, those who feel those persons should not be on the panel, they should take up, write a petition to the NBA and state the reason why he should not. And then let the neck of the NBA put that to vote too. So let's not miss, let's not be more into yeah. academic conversations. Until those issues have come up, I don't think we, I don't think it is good for us to go in it. What has come up, what is before us is the candidacy of Erufai and the decision of the neck on it. All right. Um, I, I want you to go on, you know, and quickly speak about um, the NBA with new president Tolumwide Akbata. You know, does this in any way paint a new picture about the new face of the NBA, or has this always been the nature of the Nigerian Bar Association? Uh, well, it hasn't always been the nature of the Nigerian Bar Association, and I think what is fueling this, what I call a renewed consciousness and or awakening, but is the circumstances uh, which the current, the, the, the president-elect of the association, Mr. Olumide Akata elect You would understand that his victory is a very historic victory in the annals of the NBA. For the first time in a long time, young lawyers who feel that the system, who feel that the NBA does not belong to uh, uh, those members who are, the, who are in the inner back, uh, who we call small advocates. They feel that the NBA is large enough for uh, both civics and non civics and for the first time in a long time, he, he met. So it is that same, it is that same vigor that, that, that led to the emergence of a new media that, that is fueling this uh, sort of um, uh, a renewed consciousness in the NBA, and which is which has led to the decision taken by Nick the other day. So what it means is that by the time the new presidency of the NBA comes on board, it, it is going to consolidate on this new uh, wave of activism by the NBA, which, by the way, it, has already, it, it was always known for, for a long time, until the last couple of years, whereby that, um, that uh, its, its activist side of it uh, uh, seemed to, to be cold. So I think for uh, the uh, incoming NBA president, he's going to consolidate on, this, um, on this, what I, this victory for Nigerians and Nigerian lawyers to also keep government on their toes and also uh, our leaders on their toes. All right. Um, I'm going to go back to Professor um, Ishaq Akintola. Um, uh, I, I, want, I want you to, of course, um, respond to what um, Mr. Nkenebe has already said, you know, the real reasons why Governor El Rufai was dropped. Um, and I'm going to bring back, you know, something that I saw earlier, the Dutse branch of the NBA threatening to boycott the conference. You know, it claims that the governor wasn't given an opportunity to defend himself. And also that, if, you know, like you also mentioned, Governor Yesom Wiki, who is still invited, may be guilty of similar accusations. Um, I, want, I wanted to get your views. Now, um, Mr. Nkenebe has already stated what he feels are the reasons why the Cardinal State Governor was dropped. Uh, do you agree that those <laughs> were good enough reasons uh, for letting they him are go? Just, those reasons are afterthoughts. I don't agree. That the NBA was based on bias, gross bias. NBA has all the, all the way with the, the resources. It, they have the power. As they say, they didn't know Erufai before they started planning this conference. Did Erufai apply, send an application to NBA to deliver a lecture? They wrote MB, they invited MB, they invited Erufai, they told him they wanted to deliver a lecture. Erufai agreed. As that, before that, that, before that, they should have done their homework. You don't bring a man to public audience. You don't bring a man to classmate. After invite, what, 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 what was it? MBA, MBA telling me, telling us that they couldn't plan very well and understand these people and know that people may raise objection to certain lecturers, certain speakers. You know, I think there is a lot to this that, uh, 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 that meets the eye. MBA was acting a script. 
a script written by Southern Kaduna. And this is not good for our country. If Wike, Governor Wike, and President Rusev uh, Obasanjo can be on that panel, nothing stops Erufai from being there. Erufai has not been accused of killing anyone. Erufai, the, the only fear they know, according to the petition that was stable, that NBA uh, based its uh, it, uh, dropping of Erufai on, the fear was that Erufai may come to that to that conference talking about the killings in Southern Kaduna and extenuating the offenses, the killing, and pinning it on the people of Southern Kaduna. That is presumptuous. In law, you don't do it. You don't do that. These are our learned, uh, our, our learned leaders, and they are misleading us. How can you say they believe the one who is going to talk about so and so and so? Because of that, do not invite him. All right. I, I, if, if no crime has been pinned on him, but somebody has been, somebody was there as head of state when the people, thousands were killed in Odi. Somebody was head of state, military head of state, a dictator, when people were killed in Zakibiam. Thousands were massacred there. And they were, this was very clear. Nothing like that could be pinned on Erufai. We are just asking for balance, for objectivity. And that was why Muri called for boycott of that conference by all lawyers in the North and all other lawyers of conscience because Erufai has been unjustly treated. When, you when, don't when judge you a man say, before you try him, before yeah. you hear him out. Murik is calling for the boycott for, from lawyers from the North. Yes. Uh, we did in our statement. Uh, and we, we, are still, we are still standing by, by, by that call. Do you feel this is an attack um, on tribe or, or, or anything like that? Do you feel this I've is an attack on, I've not on the anything. North? It's my, my colleague over there who is speaking, who is also speaking, uh, like, like I'm speaking to you, uh, he was the one who mentioned religion. I'm not mentioning religion. I'm not mentioning uh, ethnicity. I'm just talking about the how the, when we uh, human beings need their own dignity and respect kept intact. Erufan has not been properly treated. All right, and um, back to uh, Mr. Kenebe. I want to get your thoughts on the response from the Kaduna State okay. Governor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the response from the Kaduna State Governor? Yeah. Uh, well, he has done what, what I read the statement yesterday, and he has done what any other person in such circumstances would do. Uh, that is to say, uh, claiming that um, he was treated, he was hard bumped in any event that he did not solicit the platform of the NBA. Uh, we are the MP actually came, came uh, to him. Um, uh, that having said that, I think uh, the, uh, mm -hmm. His Excellency, the Cardinal State Governor, uh, going forward, should, would want to uh, look at, uh, reflect back on all of this, and perhaps uh, want to rethink um, his, uh, the, the manner of his engagement with Nigerians going forward. Because the MBA has been able to show that uh, there should be consequences for untoward um, actions. And uh, so I believe that um, he would uh, learn from his experience and perhaps want to rethink his, the manner of his conversation and also interaction with uh, Nigerians. If you could just allow me to respond to what Mr. Chuck said before, before now. He, he said that uh, the MB that uh, every fire was, um, was unjustly treated uh, by saying that why was he invited in the first place if he was going to be uh, uh, dismissed in such manner. Now, the uh, the MBA, the neck of the MBA, as it were, not the body responsible for um, selecting members who are going to sit on panels. Hello, Mr. Nkanabe. Okay, we may have lost in them. Um, I, I want to go back to, uh, quickly to uh, Professor Akintola. I, I want to get your thoughts on how this can be managed so it doesn't blow out into a, a tribal or you know a regional um, um, issue across the country. 
Um, because like I said earlier, the Dutse branch of the NBA has already put out a statement threatening to boycott. Um, and you have also said, you know, Murik is asking uh, lawyers from the North to also boycott the conference. So how can this be better managed so it doesn't turn into a regional or uh, tribal issue? Thank you. <clears throat> We, we, we cannot see that NBA has thrown up a controversy. So how do we, what kind of damage control can NBA itself, you know, uh, put up? There is still time. The program starts on the 26th. We are, today is 24th. NBA should resign its division to, uh, to, to drop Aero 5 from that conference. They don't need to send out any apology. Let them be invited. And then, because unless they, re, they invite him, Northern governors are not likely to attend their conference or send their solidarity messages. Because injury to one is injury to all. Northern lawyers are not likely to attend that conference. The conference has failed before it's but, but uh, Professor Akintola, why is this a northern thing? thing? Because you, you keep describing it as, or making it seem like it is an attack on lawyers of the, of the north, um, governors of the north, and you, like you just said, an attack on one is an attack on all. Why is this a theme for, against northerners? Why is it being painted yes, that because, way? Because NBA chose, NBA chose to be on northern tribunal. NBA chose to, 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 to take side with Southern Kaduna. For us in Munich, we would have loved a situation whereby the two sides, Northern and Southern Kaduna, is, sit down at, at the table. Is, is, sir, sir Professor, Professor Akintola, I want to know, is this an issue between the Nigerian Bar Association and... Um, Governor Erufai, or is this a Southern Kaduna and Northern Kaduna issue? Yes, it is a Southern Kaduna and Northern Kaduna. Because Erufai, the allegation of NBA against Erufai has to do with Southern Kaduna. So what are we talking? And the rest of Northern, Northern, Northern Nigeria, how is Northern Kaduna? Now the Nigerian media is not carrying reports of the killing of Muslims in the same Southern Kaduna, in their hundred. But there is propaganda high in support of Southern Kaduna as if they are praying. Murik does not want the killing of a single soul, whether it's in Southern Kaduna or from Northern Kaduna. We want them to unite. We want them to see themselves as brothers. They are Nigerians, fellow, fellow Nigerians, some patriots. But in a situation where the media now take side and throw, I mean, throw away, you know, objectivity. And they take, they, they now keep supporting, and condemning the people of Northern Kaduna who are, whose majority of whom are Muslims. And on the, on the strength of that, they now take side with Southern Kaduna. Can't you see the picture? So MBA should do some damage control. If you don't invite El Rupai, Northern lawyers are not coming. If you don't invite El Rupai, re-invite El Rupai, Northern governors are not sending solidarity messages or attending it. All right. Um, I was hoping that we could, uh, of course, reconnect with um, um, uh, Mr. Nkanebe before we um, wrap up. But I would, I would say a big thank you to you both for joining us, Professor Ishak Kintola, the director of MIRIC, and of course, uh, Raymond, Raymond Nkanebe for your thoughts. We definitely look forward to speaking with you again and having another conversation about this. Thank you very much. Thank you for staying with us. We'll take a short break now. And when we return, finally, the Nigerian Senate embarks on the review of the Constitution. We'll be right back.